what's the best way to add a person to an image using Nano Banana, upscaling and animating it? So in this video, I'm gonna show you the steps that I did to achieve this video over here. So let's get started. I'm gonna go over to Google AI Studio. So the first thing I need is my source image. And what I'm gonna do here is load up a image that was rendered of a kitchen, okay? This is all CGI. So this is a great image. It would just look nicer if we had a person. And now a question I get a lot from you guys is, can I use a very specific person? Can I use myself? Can I use a famous person? Well, yeah, it's actually really, really easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Pexels, and this is just royalty, stock-free, uh, commercial-free, images and I'm just gonna grab a random person and I'm gonna grab this guy right over here I'm gonna show you why because he's got like really bright clothing that we can actually remove and mute in nano banana and we can also change the position of his hands so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go to AI studio I'm gonna drop in that picture of the kitchen we just talked about drop the guy in and all I'm gonna say is add this man walking past the island I will say here totally optional, but you could say apply a subtle motion blur if you want, if you want that look. So I'm going to hit run. And what it's going to do is it's going to basically merge the two. And again, it's looking at the reference photo of this guy. So this could be anyone. If you've got a photo of them, it'll put it in there. And Nano does a fantastic job like preserving the details. And there we go. There's our guy there. And like I was saying before, I actually don't like his hat. I find it really annoying. So let's say remove his hat, turn his hoodie gray, and we'll send that off. And notice how I give it two instructions here. You don't need to do one shot prompting. You can actually give it multiple prompts and it'll take care of it in one go. So there we go. Let's blow this up. And there's our guy. He's looking good, but he's looking slightly low res. And this is another question you guys keep asking me. How do we upscale the images that we're getting? Because Something you may not notice is that rendering I was showing you of the kitchen, if I were to just bring up the properties, just the pixel information, check this out. This is 1920 by 2560, okay? This image right here, if I download it and I open that up, so this image right here, I hit properties, check this out. It's at 832 by 1248. So it's essentially halved the resolution of my image. In professional work, this might not be okay. This is actually like a very bad thing that's happened, right? You basically have your resolution, probably no longer useful for you. So what I usually do to get that resolution back is I run it through an upscaler, okay? The upscaler, you could use Magnific AI. If you've never heard of it, you could use this. The one reason I don't like Magnific lately is it's 40 bucks a month. Do you really need an upscaler for 40 bucks a month? A little debatable. So what I've been using is this fantastic tool called Xfigura AI. And what it does is is an aggregator of all these AI models in one. So this is my upscale node. This is Magnific right here. These are all the settings. If I want, I don't even need to use Magnific. I could use Clarity. So it's kind of cool that you can do that. Same thing with video generation. I have Runway here, but if I want, I could switch to Kling or VO. So kind of nice that you have options here. So because we swapped out the character, I'm gonna re-upload this image. All I'm gonna do is hit upload here, grab the new character, and then here, using Magnific, I'm just gonna hit generate and it's gonna do the upscaling for me in one, in one shot. So here, as you can see, it's gonna start generating a new version of this upscaled version, and that's gonna help improve the details of this person, but also improve the resolution by 2X or 4X. And there we go. He's already looking much better. If I expand this, I should be able to do a little preview and you can see, look, it added all these details. He looks much more realistic. Like, look at that. It added even more details to the texture, to the floor of the walls. Everything looks better. So overall we go from like this baby looking face AI person into someone that actually looks like a photo. And then the beauty of this without having to buy another subscription and going to another tool, this is Runway, I can plug my upscaled image directly into the image to video node, which is Runway. I could specify the model. I'm just gonna use Runway Gen 4 and I'm gonna say, give it to me one by one resolution. And before I do this, I'm just gonna put an input here and I'm gonna say, man walking past island. 
camera slow dolly zoom and this just means it's going to move slowly forward so it's basically taking text as well as an image which is kind of nice think of this as the start frame but the idea is like in one workspace right i can grab an image i can put that into an upscaler and then a video upscaler and then to a video generator. And if I want, I could even do style transfers. Like if I want, like if I drag this out and say, Hey, give me another image. And then I can even use nano banana here and say like, make this look watercolor while we wait. And there you go. There's your video. And what's cool is like, this is all dynamic. So like I can resize that and there we go. But you can see the guy is walking past, not bad. So if you have this all laid out, in just like less than a minute, you can basically take that image and improve it. You can even do your style transfer right here. So anyways, I've been using this workflow to kind of like condense and expedite things. Cause if you think about it, to do what I just showed you, this is like three different subscriptions and this is gonna add up. It's gonna be like $200 a month. I don't know, just, just use something simple, um, save you money. So anyways, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you how to get people in there. Uh, Cause a lot of you have been asking like, how do I get specific people? So remember, in Google AI Studio, you can grab a reference photo, drop that in. You can also direct Google AI Studio. So like if you don't like something about the character, you can tell it to remove it or fix it. So here we remove the hat, we change the color of the clothes. And then if you want to take it to the next step, you can definitely upscale. You know, there's a bunch of different tools out there. I'm just using Magnific because that seems to be the most popular one. But definitely give this tool a shot, you can use it for free. 25 credits is actually more than enough to do what I did here. Uh, this is probably like maybe less than 10, so pretty cool. Anyways, if you have questions about this workflow, leave a comment below, I'll definitely get back to you. And as always, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. See you next time.